think we're going live. Let me know when people see me on here. I've got the chat ready to show me anything going wrong. What's going on, guys? Good to see everyone on here. I'm just going to sort out my life for a sec. A one-man band on the stream. Hey guys, how's it going? Today, we've got to let this out. As you can see, I've already helped myself by sketching it out first, which takes quite a long time. So I thought I'll just show you the filling in part of me creating this. So hopefully you enjoy it. I know it's mostly created from actually sketching it out, but I find this part here is kind of fun to do because you get to see the work in progress and anything else that I sort of create on the side. If you're new here, subscribe and all that. It'd be great to see some people subscribing today. Uh, I'm just going to check something. What's going on, people? I'm just going to do a little Instagram story. I've never done that before. Bear with me whilst I do this. You can see how I do on here. Um, let's find the link first, if I can actually find it. Um, cool. Let me just find this and share it. Good to see people here on the chat. David Pruitt's in. He's in the house. Good to see you, David. How's it going? I still need to get that hat of you. I think he will give you my address and then a PayPal thing. If you want to come and watch me letter out this on the wall, then swipe up on here and I'll take you to YouTube Live where you can watch me letter it out with chalk. It's huge. If you want to come and watch me letter out That's this it. on the wall. Right, I'll just shove, shove that out with the link on, on here. And you should be sweet. Sorry again for no music. We are sorting that out. I've got a little sneaky way of doing it. But I need to get like a bit of equipment to sort of do it. Cool. And then, whilst I'm doing that, oh, David Pruitt, you legend. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That means the world to me, dude. Thank you. That means a lot. Awesome. Let's get into it. So I'm recording on there for my thing with Jake. Is the audio okay? I'm assuming it is. A little hard to hear. A little hard to hear. That's strange. Okay. A little. Make my sound louder. Okay. Let's give it a go. Oh, I know why. This thing here. Hold your head. Hang on, people. The joys. There you go. Sorry, guys. Probably for the... Uh, I didn't plug my mic in. Sorry for anyone who's just been, like, defiled with their ears. We're going to start off with this, actually. I forgot to plug my mic in because Naomi's away today. She'll be coming back later. People might be freaking out on the sound. It's going good, bro. I'm excited to see how you work. How are you? Love from Turkey. Hey, Mert. Thank you. Well, this is kind of the way I work. So I get this drawn up as best as possible. And I use, where has it gone? I use this thing, which is like a laser, where I can like basically map everything out. So it's like a, like a freestanding laser. And it helps me uh, basically keep everything centered and straight. Uh, and this is just cheap chalk. Cheap chalk always works the best. So we're not going to have any issues like we did in the last stream because this chalk is like unreal. I've got like a box of 100 of them. I'm starting off with the D um, just to warm my hands up. Did you draw freehand or use projector? I drew freehand. Again, like with this thing here, I can like scale it up and basically know exactly where I'm going, like there. But this thing basically has like an auto balance feature, so I put it on the tripod, and then it kind of like, if I keep it still, it starts beeping if it's not balanced. It's very clever. I drew my last one, the work hard one, that was with the projector, because it was easier to do. But with this, I just do the outlines of it to sketch it on, sketch it a bit more lightly, Keep going with it and seeing how it goes, and then hopefully it ends up straight. Cool. So what we're doing now is we're just putting in a defining lines, pressing with a bit of pressure on the chalk. Just 
trying to keep everything consistently straight is difficult to do. But it's easier when you've sketched it out, as I say before. Have a look at the chat. Love from Bangladesh. What's going on, dude? Much better. Hello, Mrs. Patterson. Hello. Good lazy tip. Thanks, Adam. Um, hello, Will from the Philippines. What's going on? Is it Palo? Palo? Good to see you, dude. I'm going to start off over here now. So a little tip. I found that the Crayola chalk, which is like dust. Oh, that sound. Oh, it kills me. Um, the Crayola chalk isn't that good because it doesn't let off enough chalk. So I bought like this new pack over here. It's like got a lot of chalk in it. It's like a hundred sticks of chalk and uh, it kind of works a lot better. You don't have any issues with it and it just lets the chalk slide off. So I'm guessing like the best chalk is probably the cheapest. And I didn't want to do the sketching out bit because that takes quite a bit of concentration, but this part here, I can really show you the outline experience. I'll do another one where I sketch it out as well. But I kind of need a bit more time for that. But cheers, David Pruitt, for the super chat. I really do appreciate it. Um, the audio is still low, by the way. Is it really? Let's have a look, see if I can fix it over here. Don't know why it's low. Maybe this is better. Or even that, is that better for everyone? <laughs> it's hard to tell because I haven't got like a, like a proper live streaming rig yet, but we are getting one. These things take time. But because of the new office space, it's kind of difficult to uh, get everything done very quickly. So I'm going to go up to the eye up there later and then finish it down here. So I'm doing Kingdom first because it's the bit that I want to do first. And it's also probably going to be the easiest not to get wrong. Very satisfying. Oh, bit of an issue here. Let's see if I can fix that. There. See the chat. Oh, that's good. Thank you. If you guys like it, then make sure you share the stream and stuff like that. Action report. Mm. Uh, much better. Hello from Hungary. Uh, way better. No worries. <laughs> good to know. Can you roll the nails on the blackboard? No, you're making me cringe, man. It's horrible. <laughs> okay. Bit of a misline there, but it's okay. Right, so that's that line done. Do the eye. I think the hardest thing about black letter is that there's no real room to go wrong. If you go like majorly wrong, you kind of have to like fix it, but hence why I didn't want to like. This is how you get straight lines, by the way. Hold your arm down and be kind of centered to the board and just like keep your arm locked. Right, if anyone's got any questions, feel free to ask. Because I can take design questions, life questions. Because with this, I'm just like going to be doing this like I normally would do off camera. But just answer any questions. It's down here. I'm liking the look of it already. I'm also thinking of going to Denver for another workshop if anyone is interested underway around the US later this year. Um, greetings from Uruguay. What's up, Rocket Designs? Good to see you. Thank you. I think you might have a dead spot with your mic. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, do you map out on a grid on the blackboard? I've studied typography, but my confidence is shattered. Well, your confidence shouldn't be shattered, dude. <laughs> no, you just like line it up. It's all about practice. Don't let your confidence get shattered. I know what you mean there. You see people's work and you're like, oh, wow, like, how, do they, how do they do that? Well, honestly, it just takes time. 
there's no quick fix for anything. I still see people's work, like, as well as everyone else, every good hand letterer sees people work and they compare themselves, but it's important not to live in comparison with that because everyone's on like a journey. There's no place you get to with stuff like this where you go, yep, yeah, that's it, I'm good. Because you're always pointing out the flaws in yourself, um, which is part of the issue that people have. But chalk lettering has taught me a lot about forming the word and creating the word correctly. Um, it's basically having the word so big on the letter so big, it's allowed me to see the points that, you know, that each thing is a line and it's all about that one line that you're creating, you know. Hi, Will, how are you? What, what is meant by font personality? Kindly guide me. I'm not, I'm not sure what context you mean. Uh, can you give the shadow effect? I'm not going to do the shadow effect on this one because technically there's supposed to be like some inlines in here. But with these chalk walls now, for Instagram, what I'm doing, I'd just rather keep them as simple as I can for now until I get better at the effect. Um, I'll try it out on another stream when I get better at them. But not right now. It's a bit of a weird O, but we'll give it a go, that's fine. Go for the M. Also, in the comments down below, a lot of you guys follow me for lots of different reasons. I guess some of you follow me for design, some follow me for like logo design, the come design with me thing that we did. Let me know what content you wanna see. It helps me out. When people comment on like videos, just asking me for things that they wanna know, and like videos that they would love to see, then it helps me give them to you. I was just thinking today, how do I come up with better content for you guys, something that you would really like? Um, so yeah, I'd be appreciated if you did that. It'd be cool. Uh, get this line here. This chalk is so much better than the Crayola one that I was using. Gosh, that was hard, that Crayola. So it's Kingdom. Um, People keep saying I ignored your last comment. I don't need to answer any of your comments, dude. <laughs> when will you be back in Colorado again? Um, I'll be in Colorado hopefully later on this year. We don't know yet. So a guy called Brandon that I'm friends with, I branded his design agency. He's uh, wanting to bring me out again and do some sponsored um, workshops. So he basically take me around and we'll do some workshops for the business of design kind of style workshops where I teach people how to actually make money as well as like create amazing designs that companies want to work with. Oh, that sound. <laughs> oh, let's have a look at the comments. Hey, what's going on people? It's so good to see so many people in here. Um, the typography reminds me of a luxurious wine. Yeah, it does. Like, you probably see a lot of luxurious wines, probably German, uh, using this type of black letter. I posted this on Instagram before. It's a hand letter thing. So recently, I've just been wanting to do all my old Instagram stuff on here. There we go. Right, so there's Kingdom. Don't think I've missed anything else off of that. Give you guys a little look. Kingdom, looks pretty cool. It's nice to know that I can just look at the camera over there, or over there, and like see it properly. I started watching you because of the logo design, but all your work is amazing. Oh, thank you so much, Rocket, you're amazing. I died a little when I heard that sound, I know. Do you ever use chalk pens? I haven't actually used chalk, actual chalk. Yeah, I do use chalk pens, but the problem is it stains. It's called ghosting. It'll <clears throat> It will like ghost on this wall. Because this is just like a wall in my office. Like, you know, I don't want to wreck it or anything like that. Um, it's good to see everyone on here, man. There's so many people watching. Uh, but yeah, l later in Colorado, hopefully it'll be there soon. It won't be too long. I'm just going to get my little stool here. This will help me. So you probably won't be able to see much for a sec, but 
this is the bit that I'm most concerned about up here, the uh, thy. Because it was hard to get like perfect and I've just ruined it kind of. Be all right though. Because there's a big stick in the way of it as well, like a screw. But these small words, you have to kind of get them right. Otherwise it kind of, the small words make it look weird if it's not correct. I'm gonna have to fix that. I mean, come, that was hard one. <clears throat> make correct on the D. I'll be all right. I might do a shadow under the D. Uh, hey guys, as you will know me to help with comments and questions, it's really hard to focus on lettering. Oh, thanks, David. Yeah, sorry guys. Naomi is normally here asking questions. Um, you'd love to see a video with tips on how to show work on different platforms. Yeah, that's a good idea. I've got to remind myself of that. I'm going to actually like, you know, screenshot some of your comments um, because that's a pretty good one. Please can you tell me about passive income? Uh, passive income is hard to talk about because it's, it's difficult to get into. Um, uh, it's 1 a.m. here in Japan right now, but the stream keeps me hyped. Glad I caught you doing this. Nice one. Is it Decibel? Is that how you say your name? Thank you for watching. Uh, how many times have you done lettering on that wall? Uh, pfft, like four or five. I've only just got this new studio. If I tried this, I would have accidentally leaned on the wall at some point and messed up. Yeah, I do it all the time, though. <laughs> I do it all the time. It's never, like, easy. It always gets a bit hard, man. It's always a bit harder when you're first starting out, but you kind of get used to it. Like, at first, I was breaking the chalk everywhere, man. Let's see if I can get some good circles here for the L. That's not too bad. It's just hard to keep everything straight. That's why you need like those laser pointers. Those laser balancing things help you a lot. And I've just smudged it. There we go. There's the problem with this is cramp. You're bound to get crap at some point. Right, so that's that sort of mapped out and lettered kind of. Uh, when's the next come design with me? So I'll be working on that today. And the reason why it's so difficult to do right now is come design with me has always been about anyone can join. And that means that we have to work out a way of getting people to sort of give their designs and upload them somewhere. And it takes hours and hours and hours to like figure that out um, uh, whilst I'm doing it. So what I'm trying to do is streamline it and it's taken forever to do. It's taken nearly a few months. So we are going to still do come design with me. And this time it's gonna be an app. And I can give you a little clue into it. It's called Bonsai, uh, the idea of the company. And you're gonna be creating a simplified logo and an app uh, on Adobe XD. Um, how to grow a YouTube channel without a shout out. I'm kind of obsessed with the, the stuffs. Any tips, especially from you. Um, you, don't, you never grow a YouTube channel with shout outs because no one will watch your videos. You grow your channel by just keep going. It's all about just keeping like the videos going every day. Like it's about being disciplined to think like, sit down, think of a video, like give people value. If you show people things that will help them, people will generally like to, you know, watch it and they'll keep coming back. And it's all about branding yourself correctly as well. I mean, you become a brand, you don't really brand yourself, but um, there's ways of doing it where people can easily find you, you know. It's all a process and it's always hard. And I wish I knew how to grow a YouTube channel properly. It's hard. Just take it one step at a time. You get a lot of YouTube gurus that tell you they know what they're doing when they don't. 
it's just part of the thing. Um, beautiful, I love this. Will you do some kind of background? I might do, yeah, I might do some kind of background. That might be a cool idea to do. It depends. We'll see how it's going. If anyone's watching this and you're slightly confused, I'm lettering a chalk wall in my uh, new studio. Uh, if you want more stuff like this, because I'm planning on doing, every time I do this, sort of make some content out of it and bring it to you on a video, live stream, or whatever. And subscribe so you will get reminded whenever I do this. And it's free to subscribe to. So this chalk is so much easier to use. It's so much brighter as well. So I'm just like filling it in with like strokes, sort of rubbing it in. What I really need is like a place where I can see the comments over here. Let's have a look at the comments again. Um, let's have a look. Uh, turning on the bell notification so I can catch all your videos, really appreciate you answering the questions. I've put into personal skills and don't have the wisdom of other people to benefit from. Dude, I reckon your interpersonal skills will get better. It's difficult to do, but all you need to do is just go out there and try it. <laughs> And when you fail, it's not forever. I've got like a talk that I do, like whenever I do public speak, I've got a talk called Fail to Success. Because that's all I do. Like when a video doesn't do well, I just work out why. I take it as a learn, learning experience of, all right, well, my subscribers don't really like that, so maybe they'll like this. Um, so you have to fail to win, really. Then some videos that I do, it blows up and I don't know why. <laughs> YouTube algorithm, bro. It's ridiculous. But at the same time, it's a lot of fun. Man. Ow. Chalk just broke on me. That's the scariest thing. I get so many jump scares from doing this because like the chalk will randomly break. Dude. See the chat again. Yeah, I definitely need something to help me with the chat. Um, I'm terrible at lettering, but something about it is so relaxing. It is very therapeutic. I would think differently. I'm not sure about yours or his design, but what about, uh, but about what works best? So an argument for the facts he will give you, he will, she will give you another. Okay. Uh, have you ever done the lettering for a comic book or a comic book's cover? What makes it different? I've never done lettering for a comic book. Nope. Never really like... I used to be fans of comic books and graphic novels, but I'm not like huge fans, like a huge fan of it. I read a lot of books now, but I'm more about type design really now. I really like the way the fonts work. Like nowadays they can be a lot more profitable. But this is just like a creative outlet. Even though I do get commissioned for lettering work, it all ties into like working on logo types. Right, another bit of chalk because my fingers are getting sore from this one. Yep. 
Sure. Do this bit with the eye. Sweet. Um, I used to have a fear of talking in front of people, so I took a job where I had to talk to five to 200 people at a time. Now it doesn't bother me at all. I know, man, it's weird, right? I don't know if someone asked already, but what's keeping you busy these past few days? Uh, well, the weekend, I just don't work on a weekend most of the time, unless I have to. Um, but work-wise, during the week, so planning videos, I've got client work that I work like with companies and stuff, so I need to like do their work for them. Um, hand lettering like this, planning out what I'm gonna do for next week's videos. What else? Um, me and my wife are moving house. Uh, bought a house, so we're trying to like, organize that, even though Naomi's doing most of the jobs for that, because I'm sort of doing all this. Um, yeah, just like basically like, working away. I've got lots of different projects going on. Like the Come Design With Me one is what I've been working on mainly today. I've been working on like a, on Adobe XD, an app to sort of like help people uh, create an app, basically. Not an app, I've been working on an idea for an app. So I have a standpoint of where I am with Bonsai, the app that we're doing in Come Design With Me. Um, and I was going to do a video tomorrow about finding your niche as well. But I like to be able to do something in the video. So otherwise, I don't, I don't really like just sat there talking. I know some people don't mind it, but I like to have my content like a bit more engaging. Kills your fingers, this. Um, love the chalk, feels good. Uh, looks so good, thank you. Um, I tried this in school class, but and suddenly teacher come from the back door and she made my video. When I complete my name, I look at, back at the teacher who was standing behind me and I quick cleaned it quickly. Will you ever do a logo giveaway or something like that? No, I've done iPad giveaways with companies and stuff. Um, I'm not a fan of giveaways, really, because what happens is, if I, if I do a giveaway, then people subscribe for the wrong reason. Like, and people view it for the wrong reason. I like to have, like, my viewership continual growth instead of just, like, you know, subscribe for this, like, to be entered into an iPad giveaway, and then the algorithm on YouTube doesn't like that, as well as I don't like that, because then I've got people subscribing, and then a lot of people just giving hate in the comments of random videos, and I wonder why. <laughs> cool, that is this cheek. It's looking not too bad. I'm just going to stand behind here. Let's have a look at this. It looks pretty good. I can do a lot on the, like, the left and the right of it as well. Probably make it a bit easier to do as well. But I'm happy with that, really. So, have to see. See what happens. When starting out, is it best to start on the letters that share forms with each other? Like the O. Well, everything that you do is like another letter, for instance, like Gothic is probably the easiest one to learn at first, because it's so basic, everything is lined, basically. So you see this, 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 all these lines here, they're just straight lines. So that means you've got to keep them consistent. That's what makes it look good. That's all I look for. The lettering can be kind of bad, but as long as it's badly consistent or consistently bad, then it's fine. <laughs> um, you're giving away your knowledge, that's enough for me. Thanks, dude, I'm glad. I need to look through some of these other, like, did anyone have any suggestions for videos that you would like to see? Because that's a huge one for me. Because, um, like, I'll show you my suggestions. Seeing something, there's only like a few people here. Um, 
by the inner circle of the channel, I'll call it. Um, a suggestion that I've had is obviously come design with me, so that's what I want to do. Um, but I'm also, it's no secret, but I'm doing a podcast very soon um, about creativity. I can't talk too much about it in case it gets stolen, um, but hopefully that will be like a good you know, episodic uh, podcast, if that makes sense. Episodes every week or twice a week or something. Uh, because it's hard. When you, when you teach stuff, it's, it's kind of difficult to keep teaching. <laughs> you just want to like sort of do content as well. Then you, you kind of go, oh, well, I've talked about that before, so they can find that again. And everything's on demand now, so you've got to try and like keep, keep engagement up and stuff. It's difficult. But another idea I had was a podcast. Then also interviewing. I want to do some interviewing of designers. Um, and then live logo critiques. Someone actually asked me to do that in a live stream. I think it was the last time. I uh, doing live logo critiques with people. Like, not live on YouTube, but like, speak to the guy who's, who's designed it and then I'll give him advice. Um, so we have like a proper conversation about it, you know? Does that sound like something that would be cool? A colored background would make it pop. <laughs> are those real plants or chalked? Chalk painting. No, these are real. This is a real bonsai. Yeah, real plants all over. My office is filled with them. Um, I want to start learning lettering. What do you recommend? Well, if you want to start learning lettering, go on my Instagram. Basically, just take a piece of lettering and try and replicate it. Replicate it as good as you can. Work out how I did it. But just replicate it. Lettering is like a game of practice. If you don't practice it, you, you're never going to find yourself in a position of where you feel happy with it. You have to always be practicing, getting that muscle memory. When I first started out, it was all calligraphy based. So it wasn't even drawing, um, but using pens, brush pens. I just wanted to use a brush pen to create some cool type. And I went from there to like drawing them. Because obviously with calligraphy, it's hard to create like Oh, compositions like this. I'm going to shadow this down here at some point. Uh, you should try using design software you've never used to create a logo, using your design intuition to navigate the software. Yeah, I should do. I mean, the software is about 5% of like being a designer. It's not really that important. I mean, you think back to the days of how people used to design logos, it is crazy. It's not even about, it's about like, you know, the, the design itself. The software just comes over time when you, when you need to do something, you find out how to do it and it automatically just stays with you. Um, so I've never been a big fan of just learning software, but I'm pretty sure I'm pre I'll be good at it because there's a software called Vectinator that I use quite often. Uh, and Vectinator, I'm actually doing some videos with him about creating logos and using Vectinator to design logos because that is part of the like you know ethos of design is that you can just take a software that you like and just uh, do it in another like software, same logo, you know. Um, I've got Stefan messaging me. Stefan Coons, what a legend. Um, how to make an intro like this kingdom. Hey Will, just watch a video of Studio Part 1. What are you looking to most, um, for, looking forward to most in having this space? What are you looking to most, looking forward to the most having in this space? I'm not too sure what you mean, but I'm going to like assume that I'm looking forward to just like bringing more content. The real reason I bought this place is just so I could like do this. <laughs> I've always wanted a massive chalk wall, but as you know, in England, it's difficult to find like, the houses are smaller in England and your office space is smaller. So this one was like a real blessing to have because it's huge, like it's massive. I've got all the space in the world so I can film courses, do workshops. I mean, I live in the UK. It would be interesting to know if people will come here for a workshop into the studio um, and spend like a day here. 
Uh, ooh, design a logo using the oldest methods possible. That's a good idea, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna, um, John, I'm just going to screenshot that because that was good. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to the fact of having, you know, people in the office making it more into a creative hub. Um, as well as that, I, love, I like the fact that I can go home now. <laughs> as before, like, you know, you wonder why YouTubers have like bad mental health and things go wrong. It's because it's difficult to like work constantly. With YouTube, you're basically just working all the time. You're always checking your analytics and stuff, but when you're at home, you have that element of, um, well, in a normal job, you have that element of space from your work and your life because even though this is my life, I spend most of my life doing this, you, you always need a break, otherwise you just never shut off and you never can sharpen your creativity and your acts by just resting. David Pruitt, I would love to go. Kelsey and I are trying to get, find a way to see you guys. Yes, well, that's it, it's in. It'll be awesome to have people in. I mean, this place is huge. Like, it's, it's big enough to have people in. Uh, and I'd love to do workshops in here for people for like hand lettering and logo design. But not only that, just teaching people how to use what's in front of them to create money doing what they love. Um, I know it's Rasta, but Procreate is a blast to use. It is, it's unreal. Make a design challenge where you set the rules and then the viewers can upload examples for you to critique. Great helpful portfolio expanding. Yes, I've done that. It's called Come Design With Me. But... Yeah, I need help with it, really, because it's so difficult to go through every single submission. So that what my plan is for it is to find a way to kind of like get people to upload their work somewhere. And I choose about 100 people uh, based on that like after they upload and then put them together, <laughs> just like get them to do something like a, the design together. So I'm still working it out. Um, where in the UK are you? I would go, I'm in North Yorkshire. It's, a, it's in the Yorkshire day. Well, it's in a very small town. It's like an hour away, hour away from Newcastle by car. So it's not, in the, it's not a standard place where you find a lot of people doing this kind of job. But I love it here. It's so expansive like the the landscape is unreal. I can't live in cities, really. I do visit them a lot for work reasons, but yeah, it's difficult, right? How's it looking? Need to stamp back. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty good. I like the look of it. I could do some like, you know, shadowing underneath here. By just rubbing it. And it might give the, the illusion of it. But I'm trying to still work that stuff out. Kind of worked on there then. <laughs> well, call me after this and I can see how I can help you with C. Oh, thank you so much, David. I would love to. I will call you. It depends on when I finish this, but yes, we will have to organize a call, man. Uh, opposite end of the country. That's all right. You can come down. It's by train. Everything, everyone in the UK is like connected by train. Is your new office in Richmond too, Will? I don't recognize it outside from your new video. It's in, like, it's in Richmond, kind of. It's just outside of Richmond without giving the exact location away. Is your wife in design as well? How did you two meet? Oh, well, this is a story. So Naomi's not in design. She is, a, she was a child care teacher, excuse me, a children's teacher. And uh, we met when I was turning 13 and she was 12 in school and we started dating in school. We've been together ever since we got married. And, the rest is history. That's the way it was. She's not in design though, but she helps me here. So Naomi is like, she's the brains of a lot of what we do here. So like, she's the brains of like the office, how it works um, with work, gathering work. She does a lot of the client stuff. So she talks a lot to the clients. 
um, and it gives me a bit of separation from things. Um, she's the one who gives me jobs to do, like if a client comes in, she'll price it up, give me the job. She's kind of like an agent in that respect. So like if you email, you probably get a reply from her because she's like unreal at what she does. Very talented woman. Get this finished here. Boom. Need to do the G, but I'll do that when I go further down. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool, right? A Geordie, I hope I spelled that right. No, I'm not a Geordie. <laughs> uh, oh, cool. I was going to look for these comments. Video on how to go freelance would be awesome if you haven't already. I have done it. Just look back. Oh, designer logo using the old mess possible. Yeah, hello guys. How to make an intro like this kingdom. Wow, that's crazy. Um, how old were you when you knew she was the one? Uh, well, I didn't know, to be fair. It's not like that for me. For me. <laughs> uh, it's just a natural progression. You know, we, we stayed together in school. We went to church together. And... Uh, hung out all the time. Our, our parents were actually the ones who introduced us. They were both on the PTA uh, at the school. And the first time we met is when my mum made me go on an evening, which because we lived opposite the school. And Naomi uh, was made to go with her mum, so we met them there. We hung out. And then we just sort of stayed together. We've been together since then, so we've been dating for over 10 years. Which is pretty insane when you think about it. Cool, oh, I need to give my finger a break. How's everyone doing though? The chat seems to be slowing down, which I don't really mind, but it's just one of those things. <laughs> cold, cool. <laughs> yeah. Life's pretty crazy, but it's good though. I've been thinking today, like most of the day, I've been like panicking of where, what, what, what video am I going to do next? I've got loads of ideas, but I don't like any of them. I can actually like work them out. One of them is like how I organize my life, which is through an app called Notion. So I was going to say, you know, how do you organize your client work and stuff? But I was like, that might be a bit boring. I don't think people would want to watch that. It's difficult to gauge sometimes with most people. Difficult to gauge what my subscribers want to watch. <laughs> Some videos do really well for no reason at all, uh, other than just people just watching more. But yeah, I've got a video coming tomorrow about your creative niche, so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully it'll help a lot of people. How do I sit on this? Here we go. Oop, falling backwards. This chalk is so much nicer than the last one. It just falls off the chalk, it's so satisfying. Is this straight? <laughs> I haven't even properly checked. That seems pretty straight to me, to be fair. Pretty centered and pretty straight. Um, that's super therapeutic. It is right. Greetings and blessings from Germany. What's up, Joe Franz? Good to see you. If anyone's new here, please subscribe. You'll see more like this and loads of other content. Seems how like my upload schedule is doing a lot better now, seems how I'm in this new place. But what do you guys think? Do you think having like interviewing designers and stuff would be good on here? Any other topics that you guys would like to know about? Like basically what do you struggle with? What can I help 
you with. That's my main thing. I want to help people. Oh yeah, and this is, by, by the way, you'll see in the merch table, like the merch link underneath the videos, you'll see Kingdom um, t-shirt on there. This isn't like to promote it, it's just a, I kind of like this lettering design, it's so simplistic. It's kind of like a logo, just this itself, it's kind of like a logo. I tried it like it when I made it. Um, you should upload your work to YouTube. That's a good idea for anyone who needs content. Huge wall sounds a bit ridiculous for me as a graffiti artist, but I get the relation. I like the lettering, very stable, looks royal like a kingdom should. Cheers, dude. Graffiti art is something that one of my friends, well, acquaintances do. I would love to do it, but it looks so difficult because, like, obviously with calligraphy, you kind of, like, you push to get the thicks and thins of the lettering. <laughs> but with graffiti, you pull away, right, to get the, uh, the fix, which is like, it might take a bit of getting used to, do you know what I mean? But graffiti art is cool. I do like it, but I do like, I like murals mainly. Um, designer interviews would be great. Love to see that and be a part if you need so. Yeah, that'd be really cool. It'd be good to have you on. Um, it really comes to life when it's filled in. Yeah, it does. It gets, it really does get there. It looks cool when it's done, when it's filled in. It's just the filling in part can be a bit boring. <laughs> um, monotonous, but quite relaxing at the same time. Start from here. There we go. We're nearly done. I mean, I could have put like some lines down it, but I don't ever want to do that. I kind of just like the simplicity of it. I could like deck it out and flourish it and stuff even more so than what's going on here, but. I don't know. If you want to see some big lettering, dude, I let it on like an entire beach. Uh, <laughs> Not an entire bit, but like a huge part of the beach. I was like tiny. Um, it's the Icelandic one where we went to Iceland with Ian and Stefan and Simon Cade from DSLR Guide. That was so fun. That was sponsored by Skillshare as well. That was so fun. We had a crazy idea of we wanted to letter something big together. So why not choose a beach in Iceland? That was hilarious. Right, what does that look like? I'm pretty sure that looked pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. I need to do the top now and the bottom. It does seem like there's a lot of dead space here, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it, to be fair. Um, so let me look at these. It takes a long time to get used to, like the consistency and the symmetry takes. Uh, to learn in hand lettering. Yeah, I guess so. it would be insane. Um, nearly done, that was quick. It was quick. It's this chalk, I'm telling you, this chalk is just like the cheapest of the cheap chalk. Can I show you it? Yeah, cheapest of the cheap, works super well. Um, some will make fun, some not. don't care about that. You learn from both. That's right, yeah, some will make fun. Uh, a video where you teach your wife some design principles and give her a fake design company project with guidelines yeah, I would do, but I don't think Naomi would like to do that. She's not one to be on camera. Uh, we'll definitely watch a video of how you manage your work. Yeah, I guess some people would want to watch that. 
Yeah, I was going to give you some thin second lines, right? Like uh, drop shadow lines. So drop lines, as they're called. Uh, I might. <laughs> I might do it. But I'm going to finish off the thy and come at the bottom. They shouldn't take long because they're tiny. But the problem is with tiny stuff, with a huge chalk stick, it gets a bit annoying because <laughs> like, the mistakes are so easy to spot. <laughs> What do you guys think of the series that's going on recently called The Best in Design? So it's basically me. I don't know if you've watched the video, but it's a really fun one for me to do because it's the premise is to look through the internet through people's portfolios and just find the best stuff. And just like look at it, marvel on it, credit them, and like move on to the next one. And basically just like a constant hub of creativity. That was fun. Uh, did you grind or polish your chalk wall after you painted it? I did so at mine because it was uh, way too rough. It's still, it's not as smooth as I expected or it has with foil. Uh, no, I haven't. I've just left mine. <laughs> I just left, I kind of like the fact that it's not like, it's not too rough. It's rough enough, but like it's not way too rough if that makes sense. It's just, it's just, just right for me really. Okay. Ooh, let me just sort something out on here. Man. Okay, that makes sense. Make sure to subscribe. I keep having to say that. I wish YouTube had like a feature that let them know to subscribe during the middle of it. Um, instead of like having a bot, like night bot. So I don't like that. go we're nearly done boom we have a final look move this out of the way to be fair cool let's have a look at this and see what it's like yeah the vial looks a bit weird but I can't really do anything about that because it's got a screw and that's like to map out points uh, we'll definitely watch a video of how you manage your work um, did you grind nope uh, I'll check it out best of design yeah, it's like the best of Behance, it's called. Like that specific video is called the best of Behance. Don't forget to like the video. Thank you. Yeah, dude, like liking, subscribing, commenting, and just like, if I upload a video just to check it, like every day, because I upload that three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Generally one of those is gonna be a live stream now because, you know, it, it, I, I enjoy doing stuff like this and I think it's fun for people to come and watch, you know, like my evolution and getting better of it and keep doing it. Um, but no, like honestly, if you have anything that you want to do, follow me on Instagram and just ask me for a video of something that you want because like I'm up for anything. I'm one of those annoying ones that's literally up for anything. Let's have a quick drink of this. I'll be two seconds. It's good to see so many people here, though. David Pruitt is just like on the ball here. I really love your work, that like your use of words there as well. He covers covers lettering, logo design, resources, the life of a design, his process, design challenges, and more. Yeah, literally, this channel is all about like stuff that designers like. <laughs> it's just a hub.
a hub for designers. <coughs> Decent. Also considering becoming a member. Yeah, becoming a member, do it, man. Memberships are cool. I need to get that Facebook off the ground. We haven't got many members, but I need to post more of that membership Facebook group because we're going to be doing some cool stuff. Just every time I say we're doing cool stuff, I don't want to bang on about it, but it's just difficult with everything that's going on. But we have got a lot going on in the work office here. It's going to be fun. I'm going to sit down for a bit with my actual chair and bring it back because now we've done that, I'm going to answer some questions that anyone has. Straight to the camera. I'm going to move this camera down a bit as well so it's not so strange. Here we go. Alrighty. Man, that was fun, right? Now I've got that on the wall. Like, I've got a cool background for the videos. Um, yeah. So, I'm, anyone's got any questions now, I'm fully sat down checking this out. If anyone wants to ask me a question. Um, yeah. Go for it. It's all a bit of good fun, and I'm enjoying the process of this. I'm going to go back through and see if anyone had a question. Uh, do, 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 do. Make it colourful. I don't want to make that colourful. Like, colourful chalk doesn't really do anything for me, really. Um... Yeah, I'm going to do a video of managing my work. I think that's a huge one for a lot of people. Like, how do you actually do it and manage your work? You like the shadow effect I'm doing on the letter D? Yeah, it looks cool, right? Like, ooh, you probably can't even see it. Yeah, I suppose I could do it for other areas, like the G down here. Um, it's just me, like, blurring it a bit and, like, adding a bit of a... chalk and gradient it away. I mean, it's nothing like what other people can do. It's insane what other people can do. You just use your finger and rub it. I've kind of messed it up a bit, but you can see there. Gives the illusion of a shadow of something like coming over the top of it, right? Uh, at what age did you get into design? I got into design when uh, I was, well, technically when I was like 15, when I first designed something and it's awful. I did it in Photoshop Elements, but um, I got into like, my job just from a split decision of what I believed my life should be when I was 17 or 16, I can't remember. I think it was 16 that I started doing design and in 17 when I really did it. Um, oh, Naomi's here on the chat, but she's not in the office, which is insane. <laughs> Good to see you, Naomi. Um, at what age did you get into design? Yeah, so, so looking back at when you started to know uh, what a few things that have surprised you or made you appreciate going the route of a designer. Being a designer is the coolest thing in the world. Like, the ability to create things out of nothing, like ideations that you have, and just put them down, and for it to be functional and work, is different to art because you're actually serving a purpose other than admiration and other than just, like, you know, gawking. It's all about, like, functionally doing things, like... You know, I would love to have been a product designer as well, like designing phones. Um, like, I don't just look at the graphic design stuff. I, lo I, lo I love design as a whole and in general because it's, a, it's something that's functional and it helps humanity. Um, I'm struggling with coming up with good concepts and how to present them. So concepts should be done, like, with a safety net. If you have a concept, it should always be done under the guise of a safety net where you, as a person, as a designer, can like not, you don't have to show them. So the first thing you need to remember when you're creating them is make them look bad, because you get this sort of fear. Now this fear is like what other people have, which is, you know, I don't want my, um, like if they get a new canvas for painting, I do a bit of abstract painting as well. Now the biggest way or the easiest way of getting rid of that fear of messing the painting up is by messing the painting up first. Ruin the canvas and like then start again um, on the same canvas and just go with what you've done. 
So what I do is I take my basic ideas when I do a project, shove them down, and those are my concepts, you know. Then I refine them, then I refine them, and I work out which ones, and I make decisions based on the ones that work best, that are aesthetically pleasing, and ones that could be brandable, so something that can give a gut feeling to someone about that company, you know, I'll do that, and then work from there. Good concepts come from, like, you'll get, like, one good concept out of every five out of me, so, you know, that's it. Um, nothing wrong with that one, no worries. Is your YouTube social media versus customer work about 50-50? Um, no, not really. Well, not really, no. I do a lot more social media stuff now. Um, so when, so it, it's kind of, it's, it's hard to explain. So um, I love teaching this. I love bringing it out there to people. But like, I've had this dilemma of why I don't want to do client work anymore. Um, but that's not something that is a possibility for me to sort of keep doing this channel because you get a lot of designers that just stop designing when their YouTube channel is like financially doing well with sponsors and stuff. You get a lot of people who just stop uh, and then they just teach it. But what happens then is that you, you become like out of touch with the community because you haven't actually worked on the projects, you know. Uh, so I like to have first-hand experience and then teach it. Um, I'm back. So if anyone who's missed it, I basically have created this wall. And if anyone that missed it before this, like a couple of days ago, or a couple of weeks ago actually, I created this. That was like the coolest one. This one here is like the one that I like to create. Yeah. Sorry, Sorry. I just thought I'd show you that. I probably have an echo there as well. My audio input capture stuff goes a bit crazy. <laughs> but yeah, I created that work hard one as well. Uh, that was just a time lapse though. Um, but again, I just wanted to show people what I could do. Uh, let's have a look. And I'm back. Good to see you, Herman. So what did you miss? Well, you didn't miss much, you just missed me doing this, but it's out on YouTube afterwards so you can check it out. Is it better to have your own design process than following those standard ones? Um, the design process is probably similar for everyone because it is just, it's just a design process. Just, I mean, everyone's got a bit of a different process, but it can't be majorly different because you, you're coming out with the same thing. So it doesn't really matter. In my, in my opinion, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, can someone without imagination be a designer? I think everyone has imagination. Creativity, imaginations and stuff like that are just uh, muscles that need to be used. It's like if you go to the gym, like if you want to be more like you know, muscly, you go to the gym, you look after your weight, you do things proactively to make yourself more muscly and henched. Same with creativity. You put yourself into hard situations, you know, you, you really try and you, you basically flex that creative muscle. You should totally come to Creative South. Oh, uh, come to South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Is it Creative South or South by Southwest? I would love to. I want to go to Texas and I want to go to one of those design things in Texas. That would be insane. If anyone can get me there, get me there, I'll totally do it. <laughs> um, how long does it take you to come up with a concept? To come up with a design concept, uh, a few minutes uh, for one, probably. Like, it depends, a good one or a bad one or just, just a design concept. I mean, every concept has got its benefits. So it takes a while, but like, I have to prototype it and stuff. So it's not like a real presentable one, but it's a concept. Um, I hope that answers your question though. Let's have a look at this one. This breaking down of the creative process to be a neat, an official workflow to meet deadlines and set outcome purposes is very difficult as an artist. I always wanted to go with the flow and do more. Well, that's the thing, as a designer, you're not an artist, which is the problem. So although you are creative, you are solving problems. And it's the same in any job, you have been tasked to solve a problem. So sometimes there is like deadlines and you can get extensions and there is a bit more like creative freedom with it. But I would always suggest going with the flow doesn't always lead to the best design. Um, 
it's, it takes a bit of discipline if that make if that makes sense. Um, but like it could be completely different with like if you're an artist, then it is probably completely different. If that makes sense. Like for hand lettering, it's a bit more arty, but at the same time, you've still got a problem to solve. Um, that's like an, like a functional one, not just an aesthetic. If that makes sense. Um, do you have or will make some video topic on working efficient and structured? Yes. Well, a lot of my topics are uh, based upon that already. I would suggest, like, if you wanted to watch anything, uh, there's a video called How to Become a Designer in 2020. Uh, that's a huge one. Uh, for anyone who wants to like know a bit more about the the systems and the cultures that we have now as designers and how to do it, that one's a good video. Um, let's have a look. John, that would be awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I've got to come to Texas. I do want to go to Texas, so stick around for that. Naomi, why are you super chatting me? I mean, I really appreciate it, but thank you. <laughs> That's my wife super chatting me. <laughs> nice one, Naomi. Thank you. It doesn't. Anyone else who's super chatted, like David, thank you so much. Um, I'm going to go down these questions, because ever since I sat down, I'm getting loads more questions. <laughs> Two seconds, let me sort my life out for a second. Cool. Um, I'm moving back to Texas this summer. Nice. If you're going to Chicago, I'll be able to catch you. Yeah, I would love to go to Chicago as well. All these places, like America's the coolest thing. Now, the problem I have is that the past two times I've been in America, we sort of stayed in the same area. The first time I ever went to America was a couple of years ago, and it was purely work-related. So I decided I want to go to America. What can I do? So I went to New York, flew from New York to San Francisco to do Adobe Live and like do workshop with good type. So I did that. Then I flew from San Francisco to Denver, Colorado, where we did a workshop and hung out and I just visited the area. And then from Denver back to New York, where I did a, like a speaking engagement in New York, which was fun. And then I've always wanted to do that again, although it was very stressful because we were flying everywhere and I didn't really appreciate how big you know, America was. Like, it, it was insane, it was really good fun. Um, what do you think of the Apple Vision uh, visualization meme? Apple visualization? I haven't seen that meme. Maybe I should look. Would anyone be interested in a video of me looking through design memes? That's always something that I've wanted to know. <laughs> I got my interest in design when I was 13. 3D modeling on my Amiga. Haha. <laughs> now I'm 42 and I have worked since the age of 16. When did you start and when did you know this is your path? I started when I was 17 and I didn't know it was my path. I just did it because like, I was going to force my path. I'm not someone who like lets roads open. So I sort of, I sort of like fast tracked it and broke into it. It's part of like my story. Um, thanks, Naomi. Do you have a pencil that scans your computer or tablet for lettering or both? I use my iPad. I use my iPad. That's all. Uh, uh, hello from the Philippines. Nice one. Good to see you, dude. Due to my location. I don't have the super chat option. No worries, dude. You never have to give. You never. It's all free for everyone. How is important? How is important the collaboration between designer and users? Do you mean collaboration between designers and clients, or between the users? I think, like, if you're talking about app design, it's pretty important because, like, you need to be able to see the data of what people are doing and why people shut off. You know. Uh, is my family artistic? No. Well, kind of. I mean, yes, when they were younger, they were. My dad's a doctor, or he was before he retired. He was a general practitioner in the UK, working for the NHS. And my mum had loads of jobs, and then she became a stay-at-home mum, which was very nice. Uh, three items for work you keep at arm's length when designing. <laughs> okay, three items. Headphones are always on my head. I've got these big beastie headphones here. They're always on my head. Um, what else? I've also got, I don't know. Um, oh, thank you so much, Tom. Very, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I've also got like my bonsai and my plants. I always keep my arm length, not arm's length, not just so I can touch them, but just because they're nice. What else? My phone 
and my inhaler. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's nothing really, apart from my iMac, obviously I've got my computers here, and that, that's a huge part. Tom, thank you so much for the 22 knock. Not sure what that is, dude, but thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Um, I'm watching you from Guatemala. Hey, what's going on, Monica? Good to see you. Thank you for being on the stream. Um, anyone who's just wondering, I am just answering questions because this is finished. Now, I'll show a picture at the end, but you can sort of like scroll back if you want to. Last song I listened to um, was Post Malone. Let's have a look. Uh, Die For Me, Post Malone. Love your work, Will. I'm based in Cornwall. I'm trying to kickstart my career in graphic design, specifically logo and branding. Any tips? It's hard to, it's hard to like give tips in that area, but what I would say to you, what's your name? Uh, Chris, what, what I would suggest is like read books. There's loads of books you can read. Um, for instance, you've got like inspirational books like Logoism. If you want to really get into like, you know, the ins and outs of it, um, of design and everything else, Oh, I just came up with a good idea. Sorry, I need to write it down really quick. Um, in fact, oh, where do I write it down? Sorry, I will answer your question. I just came up with a content idea. Uh, this happens a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to do something for a second. Unless I already have it in there, which I might do. So a lot of people want to look at my sketchbook. So I want to, I'm going to do a video of me looking through my sketchbook. Um, what was that? So specifically logo branding, any tips? So tips for that is books. Again, designing type. You might not think that this is like a huge one um, for anything in particular, like to do logo design, but learning how typography works is a huge thing. If you ever wanted to do design, the one thing that you need to start with, which is something that I accidentally did, was learn type design. How do you draw type? How does type work? Like the, Those are the design basics. If you can do that, then you're a great graphic designer. It's all about communicating nicely. Uh, let's have a look. That's it, my inhaler's on my desk, dude. I've got to keep that inhaler on there. Uh, don't forget you screen printed that idea you liked too. Which idea? I screen printed it. Um, oh wait, sorry, I'm not following here. Did you listen to any, do you listen to any music or audiobooks whilst designing in how far are spoken words, lyrics distracting or inspiring during the process? To be fair, that's a good point. I, don't, I, I listened to an app called Calm. So it's like a, a Calm app recently where it's just got soundscapes of nature. You can see I, I like nature in my office. I like to have plants and stuff um, because it like, there's a study done where if you like work with plants in your office and you have a plant on your desk and stuff, I've got like five, but if you have like plants and stuff, it, it increases your productivity and it increases your creativity and it stops stress levels or it lowers stress levels. So um, I like to listen to like soundscapes of nature whilst I'm working because it relaxes me and it helps me sort of think a bit better. Um, what makes you happy? What makes me happy? Uh, gen like one of the things that makes me happy because a lot of things do, obviously aside from the normal things like, you know, family and stuff, uh, probably in terms of this, when clients like the work uh, and when you like my videos. So I know when I, someone likes my videos because they watch them and I can see the like when you watch for a full video or when you like share it, I see that on the analytics and I'm like, I'm always thankful for every single one. So yeah, that's what makes me happy is knowing that I'm doing well and that I'm helping people. Um, notepads on the desktop. I do not have notepads on the desktop. I should do though. Uh, Chris says, that's okay. I've always loved a good font type design. No worries, Chris, just keep going. Like biggest tip is just to keep going, keep working, keep putting in your portfolio. Uh, oh yeah, I was wondering. Not too sure what that is. Mm. Uh, let's have a look. Let's have a listen. Have you done any uh, done a video on apps you use for productivity? 
I've done one once, I think. I don't think it's still live. But I'm going to do one about Notion because if any designer is out there that needs to automate their workflow, um, yeah, whoever's like, <laughs> dude. Um, sorry, I just had to get rid of someone there. But uh, yeah, Notion is like an app that everyone needs to get if you're someone who does like automation and works. So if you need like spreadsheets and stuff, but you want it in a better way with team members, it's a huge part of everything. Um, be sure to subscribe. Oh, cheers, David, legend. Uh, what was it like meeting Christo in the future? Do you still keep in contact and have you collaborated? Yeah, Christo is a cool guy. Um, yeah, the future of cool guys as well. It was all right, yeah. It's just like meeting another, another designer, you know. Um, they're an agency. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at the chat. Yeah, they're an agency, cool guys. They've worked for cool people. And yeah, no, it, was, it was just nice to talk to him because I've messaged him before. We've seen each other's work. We do things together. He, he was an agency at the time and still is. And I was a freelancer. Now that I'm an agency, um, so I don't just do freelance work, but we design as a company. Um, it's, a bit, it's a bit more like what he does now, like in the sense of that. But, you know, it's different at the same time. Lovely guy then. Uh, speaking of animation, Will, did you get the animation work you needed for your project? Not yet. I'm still looking. I'm looking through their portfolios secretly. <laughs> I'm looking through secret portfolios. Basically, yeah, the animation work is for the Come Design With Me logo uh, for the intro, if anyone wanted to know that. If you come into these streams, you find some stuff out about things that are going on. But yeah, I'm still looking at the animation work for the come design with me thing. Uh, I can't see what you wrote on the wall. Can you move over a little? Yeah, sure. It says that thy kingdom come, but you can't. I mean, I'll, I'll put the camera up again so you guys can see. Oh, hello. That's what it says, thy kingdom come. I hope you like it, dude. I mean, it's very basic and simple, but that's kind of like the way I like it. Kind of the way I, I, I like it. Well, I'll give it a few more minutes of this. I need to, I need to do some work for tomorrow. <laughs> but it's awesome just sitting here and ch like helping out. Um, uh, Pomodoro apps all the way for productivity and health reasons. Personally use Tide. Yeah, I've heard of Tide. I've not used it though. Uh, would you work, would you do work for a cause you didn't agree with? No, uh, specifically firearms. I don't work with like me and Amy have had like requests from firearms companies. And instead of saying no, what we do is we just price ridiculously high <laughs> because like we would have, we wouldn't get it. Um, you know, not saying there's a price for everything. But if it's for, for something that's going on a firearm, then I wouldn't do it. Because oh, I guess over here in the UK, it's different to America. There's a lot of different concerns. Um, a lot of other things, like I've, I've branded like companies for medicinal marijuana and stuff. And that, that was fun. Um, I don't mind stuff like that. Uh, say hello, Brazil. Great job. What's going on, dude? Uh, how would you ask a client for money after a meeting? I was too scared to be asked to be paid. Well, when that client is coming to meet you, there, ha there is an expectation that they're paying you. <laughs> um, so you just say, the, normally the way that I say it is, are you, not, are you okay? You understand the upfront 50% fee of this amount as written in the email before? And they would say yes. And then every time I meet with a client, we normally have a follow-up and it's a very important part following up, not just so we keep everyone on the same page, but just so we keep everything written. Having everything written down means that, like, and then agreeing to the follow-up and the summary or the summarization off of that email, it's an important aspect so people can see who are in the project, what was said during that meeting, you know. Uh, so yeah, it's an expectation. Uh, you don't work for free unless you want to work for free. That is absolutely fine. I don't mind it. It doesn't damage anyone working for free. Uh, but it's important if you are to get paid that you get paid in full and on time. And I make it very clear that if I'm going to give you the work in full and on time as much as possible, because obviously the creative process can, you know, it can divert. Um, if I'm going to do that on time, you've got to do it on time. It's, it's a two-way street. And the idea of being paid 
by milestones, I don't agree with, unless you're doing a brand strategy project, you know. As a logo designer, it's not just about logo design stuff, it's about brand strategy. How do you get them to become a brand as much as possible through the work that you're doing? So it takes a long time and I just take 50% and I say, right, it's 50% upfront uh, before any work goes on and then you will receive everything at the end towards 50% once I've done the work and we're okay. And I make sure during the process that we're all on the same page. And it's great to have an email to do that, you know. Um, I'm a price you over a million if I hate you. <laughs> One more thing, how best to grow and attract customers. I'm doing logos for friends, etc. at the moment. I'm not sure how to charge for the work I do. Fiverr and Dribble are a good place to start. Yeah, I think a lot of people give Fiverr hate uh, because they haven't tried it, you know. I don't work on Fiverr, but I have worked with Fiverr and they've changed. Um, Fiverr is no longer just a place for people who ch charge cheaply for like logos. As the saying goes, you get what you pay for. Uh, on Fiverr, you can charge uh, a large amount now for the work that you do. And like on Dribble, you can say that you're being hired and stuff. You can, you can put that there in the Dribble Pro thing. The main thing to get to attract people is to show your work. If you don't show your work, and people will be like, well, people's response to that to me quite often is, well, you don't have a portfolio that's recently updated. And that's because all of my work is basically showing on here, like on YouTube, uh, from the advice, through Instagram, you know, different things like that. It's all about where and how you're showing your work. For instance, TikTok, get on TikTok. Why not? A lot of people are using TikTok now. I just started using TikTok. I'm not trying to plug it or anything, but I just started using TikTok for that reason. Um, in fact, I'm just going to stop recording there. There we go. Tom, world of video on apps users. I do. I do indeed. That's a good. Uh, I've got video on like some of the apps, but I want to do a Notion video. I'd love to see the kingdom come digitally. Uh, I wonder what it turned out on in black and white. I can show you kingdom come digital. Like if you check my Instagram, go on it. I, that's taken literally from my digital version, which I put into Illustrator. It was hand done and then like I digitized it and then marked it out on here and done. Have you ever met Syndicate, Tom or Mars by Alex? No. Funny story about Syndicate though, when I was younger, I had a friend who did YouTube called Jay. He's an awesome guy, Apex Predator back then. And um, basically he did some of the thumbnails and artwork for him. Uh, and he told him I said hi. So my friend told him I said hi. That was it. Uh, I'm sure he's a nice guy then. I've never met Mars Bar, but I'd, I'd love to. Alex, I watch his channel quite a lot actually with TechFlow and stuff. He's a cool guy. I'd love to like go around his house or his office and like deck it out with some cool hand lettering. Um, that'd be cool. Um, thank you for getting me interested in calligraphy. No worries, Joshua. I'm glad you enjoy it. I wonder if I should start a long distance relationship for the purpose of motivating myself to work more so I can go visit her sooner. Well, to put yourself in a position like that won't help you be motivated. Motivation comes from inspiration. Be inspired and do it. If you, if you ever feel like you're not motivated, let fear motivate you. That's a big one for me. If I don't do this, then I won't grow. That's a massive fear. A fear of being irrelevant, a fear of not making money, and a fear of everything else. A fear of failure can help you uh, in that. We need more Naomi on the stream. We do but she's at home right now. Or she's doing something. She's probably out doing something. <laughs> I'm just gonna take this link. Oh, mm, hello. David Pruitt just sent me a link. I can't, I can't get on the link right now, David. My internet is all been taken up with this live stream. Um, nah, it's so good to see so many people on here. Thank you so much for everyone who's like popped in. Cool. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to head off, I guess then. I think the video tomorrow, 
Oh, wait, I've got another question here. We've got one from, from Frederick. Uh, Hi, well, I started recently handlettering with the iPad Pro. Do you have any, uh, do you have some tips to get started? Yeah, just do it, handletter it, get used to the iPad. It's a bit different, but it will become more natural over time. So natural, in fact, that when you start drawing on paper again, it's like double tapping the paper <laughs> to erase it, which is annoying. But guys, thank you so much for watching the video and everything else. Uh, this will be available afterwards if you've missed any of it, so you'll be able to see it on my, my YouTube. And if you have enjoyed it, it does help if you subscribe. You can join the channel as well for the perks that you get. And also, um, if you wanted to, obviously turn on post notifications, comment down below and share it with your friends. YouTube's weird at the minute, so sharing does help. Um, and a big one for anyone in here, because things help we, us guys that are in this sort of live stream, are like kind of the inner circle of the channel. Uh, you can message me on Instagram with any sort of like recommendations for videos. If you would recommend a video for me to do, or like request a video, should I say, then just message me on Instagram and I'll see it, guaranteed see it, and uh, I'll, make, I'll do my best to make a video around that. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. Cool. See you guys soon. Have a good one. I'm going to leave you with this cool uh, time lapse. Bye.